Filming has just begun on a major new BBC drama set and filmed entirely in the Midlands. It's called In a Land of Plenty and tells the story of one family's life from post-war Britain to the present day. Our reporter Liz Copper has been behind the scenes. Hustle, action. In a Land of Plenty is a story which follows the changing fortunes of one family from the 1950s to the 90s. It's set in a small town in the heart of England. It's being filmed mostly in and around Upper Teen in Staffordshire. Heath House, just outside the village, is the main location. It was chosen because it's perfect as a setting for the family home at the centre of the drama. We looked around Kent and Suffolk and all around London and eventually we kind of settled on here because um, cause the, the, the house and the, the welcome that we've got from the local people. Robert Pugh is the actor playing the father of the family. He's also hugely impressed with the location. And I just wander around and play at the piano and just imagine myself you know, being the part. And it's a great help as regards to the part. Get into it. I watch myself sometimes and check all this film crew out. Margaret Phillips has lived at Heath House for nearly 50 years. She has mixed feelings about allowing the film crew into her home. It's a sort of mixture of being very interesting um, and quite entertaining in a way, but it is very disruptive. Um, and it, it's a bit irritating for me um, whenever I want to go anywhere, having people sort of, sh oh no, I mustn't go. <laughs> The crew will be filming in Staffordshire for almost six months. In a Land of Plenty is due to be screened on BBC Two next year. Liz Copper, BBC Midlands Today, Upper Teen in Staffordshire. Cut. How can I take you and not the rest? You won't know what hit you. Understood? Understood! In a land of plenty, Wednesday at 9 on BBC Two. I'll never forget my aunt's big day. Big day for all of us. I've got something for you. That camera changed my life. Helped me keep the world at bay. Something my mother could never do. Come on, please. I think you've had enough to drink, don't you? <laughs> it's all there, waiting to happen. Childhood lasts a lifetime. In a land of plenty, new drama continues tomorrow at nine on BBC Two. What happened to her? It was an accident. That's a lie. They drove her to it. Well, James. You don't fight back. I can't. You're no fun at all, James. There isn't any room for dreamers in this world. No room in your world. What do you want, James? We were best friends then, me and Alice. Rehearsing our lives in a game. What do you want? Nothing, I'm just looking. It's all there, waiting to happen. Childhood. Can you take it for a moment, though? Lasts a lifetime. In a land of plenty. The story continues next Wednesday at 9 on BBC Two. I was there too, behind the camera, taking refuge from life, hoping it would come and find me. There isn't any room for dreamers in this world. What do you want, James? 
All right, butch. Fine, Sundance. Childhood lasts a lifetime in a land of plenty. Wednesday at 9 on BBC Two. Your tongue's hanging out. Do you think they've done it yet? Done what? Home. To Harry and my lovely Alice. To get out of that place, just forget everything. Thought you could do that then. I was young. What do you want? I just want you. Perhaps none of us knew how to live with the truth. Do you trust me? No. All I knew was I had to find my own way forward. <laughs> Where do you want to go? Anywhere. Oh, Everywhere. In a land of plenty, tomorrow at nine on BBC Two. Clips, spanners, drawing pins, spectacle frames, bookers. Simon. I want you to get rid of it. No. Again. Again. You never loved him. Hate, 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 hate. I didn't mean that. It looks like you hate everybody. Who do you love, James? Hey. Let's all make a wish together. One, two, two three. 